hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to talk about something different so till now we are talking about react next js prisma mm, typo rm next js next js and all i want to talk all these things together using t3 stack so i mean this is not totally new i'm just wanted to create a simple application with a t3 stack which contains nest.js prisma and uh, trpc all these different combinations together so let's say you are building a one application which contains all these things together we are going to build our uh, services in trpc which is a typescript remote processor code typescript we use everywhere nextjs for our server side component prisma for reading and writing the data tailwind css for the designing component next auth for authentication in, in introducing authentication in our application right so this is the the stack looks like this is what the the stack is and if you talk about all these components one by one right if i go to simple documentation and try to see what all it contains I mean, I will not say that it's going to be revolutionary stack and everything will change with this. No, it's just like if you want to play around with the next TS Prisma, Tailwind and TRPC together and you want to learn something and you get bored of what you are doing right now with the REST and GraphQL, then you can try and play with this, how it is different from the current world. So TRPC is a, you can say, interesting open source project created by some open source developer which is a creator of jord right so what it is doing is we already know that how rest work how graphql works but it is trpc is different from what we are doing in the rest and graphql trpc on another hand is just api api design which you are writing at the server side uh, which is just a simple router right so you will just uh, write a method and you will just call the router and you will do the validation of the payload using jord jord is actually a library so if you look into this this is how you are creating a simple router and you define all these methods and here what you can see is there is a jord jord is actually a library which is validating the payload and here you will just play you will access the prisma at the server side to access the data uh, from the prisma using prisma client so why should we use trpc is it different from rpc and all so we are going to create a simple trpc server and that will have this router and jot definitions so trpc provide type safety at the server side and the client side it provides a early uh, type early error detection no need to share api docs because uh, it provides the, the schema through this trpc router and great developer experience all those things you can see here uh, this is your router and this is router is providing all these apis user router post router and message router and inside those routers you will be writing in these kind of methods get by id so these are like rpc methods you are not going to have a rest endpoints with the url and all these are rpc calls on the server on this router get by id so your client is going to query this you can see this is your client component in the next js what you are doing so first of all you will create a router like this at the server side and here how you are going to query that data at the client is api.user.getById and you will just pass the id right so this is how you are going to make the api calls from your next components so here this is how you can build the, your APIs, pages, API, TRPC, TRPC.ts. Okay, and uh, here what we are doing is simple handler we have defined. So here create TRPC context and we are going to get the status code. It's again because it's RPC call, so it's underlying implementation on top of HTTP only. It's just like how we are doing RPC calls using method names. Okay, so user by ID handler, let's say this is the API you have written and it is it, it is reading and writing the data from the Prisma and returning the status code like this. Now, how we are going to call this? So we are going to call this using API users and this is by ID handler, right? Because this is the API which you have written in your next JS. So page API, there is a user, user ID.ts, right? 
so how we are doing is api user user by id and uh, this is like a next js yes, api we have written that is going to handle your data by querying it to the prisma right so the same thing we are going to do with the the trpc if you look into these components we are using next.js so next.js 13 it supports okay it supports it we are going to use typescript all the interfaces and all we are going to create in the typescript trpc and prisma i mean it's called a t3 stack prisma is just like we have used prisma with next.js you need to create a prisma schema and then generate the client next auth is actually authentication library which is recently popular for the next js project like you can do authentication with the google facebook github all these different providers and you can also attach some adapters with the next auth so here let's say we are passing the session providers and this is how we are accessing the session once the session is initialized at the component level okay and then environment variables and all and then your tailwind css because tailwind we are going to use for building our component design like whatever the simple components we are building that we can do with the tailwind and then deployment you can use vercel netlify and docker all these options are available so let's i what i will do is i will try to just play around with this t3 stack i won't say that it's very much popular but i want to do something out of the box i mean whatever we are doing currently with these full stack clone application let's build one small very minimal implementation using t3 stack where we are going to write a next js component we can do simple authentication using this next auth by using the client id and secret of the github once you are logged in you should be able to uh, access the resources right so we already know how to make a trpc calls using these next js components and in, at the server side these trpc methods will be using this prisma to read and write the data so if i talk about simple trpc methods which we have already seen like this is how we are create, going to create a routers and these routers can be accessed at the client side to trigger a rpc call to a particular method okay we can use the uh, create t3 app that will give you the bare bones structure okay this is how we are going to install so this is how you can create a simple application npx create t3 app latest so what you, it will do is it will create a bare bones structure for you if you can see the folder structure it is going to have your uh, pages your next js pages your server implementation and styles and utils in the server implementation here we are going to create the routers this is these are the trpc router and trpc methods okay this is server side and this is your pages so these pages are your next js app pages and then your styles you can use uh, import the tailwind styles which you want to use for components and src pages apis here we can write our apis like auth apis trpc apis and all will go inside this this is how we are creating a next auth we will talk about it how to configure next auth with next js application for authentication this is how we are going to create a trpc router and then inside src we can have auth src database and simple api so what i we are going to do is we are going to explore this stack and let's say we are going to create a simple application and then we will just see how it really works end to end so we are going to use the next js for the ssr typescript obviously we are using for type safety trpc a simple minimal server which is uh, exposing the rpc interface and prisma to access the database and provide the data to the apis next auth for authentication system you can authenticate your system in using next js right in the next js i want to do a google with login with the google login with the facebook login with the twitter then we can use this next auth and next auth will provide once you logged in session at the client side and will maintain session at the server side so rest all implementation is same like how we are using next auth 
and let's dive in so what we are going to do we will build a simple application using next auth we will do end-to-end -end demo and try to understand the components and then uh, we will be done uh, with this trpc stack so trpc stack is not that uh, huge popular but i saw a couple of blogs and some implementations so i'm going to adopt that and try to use it uh, in one of my application 